Hello everyone, I am Narc Survivor. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this one, I'm going to be talking about what happens when you give the narcissist a taste of their own medicine. And if that sounds good to you, please give it a thumbs up down below. Hit subscribe and click all notifications to be notified when I upload a new video. If you would like to book a one-on-one -on -one coaching session with me, just go to my website. It is narcsurvivor.co.uk. When you give the narcissist a taste of their own medicine, when you do the same bad things that they have done to you, the same harsh and unpleasant treatment that they dealt out, the same type of energy, when you turn the tables and you change from being in a weaker position to being in a stronger position, you reverse the situation and you gain the upper hand. You behave towards them the way they behave towards you. When you give the narcissist a taste of their own medicine, they won't like it. They will spit it out because they hate when you match their energy. They hate it when you treat them the same way they've been treating you. Even if you did the exact same thing that they did to you, they will tell you that what you did was worse. They will experience a lot of anger and shame and they might try to hurt you, not just because of your actions, but also because you're giving them a reflection of themselves and they don't like themselves which is why they direct that energy towards you and if you retaliate they will always play the victim because they want the sympathy and benefits that come along with being a victim which is why even if you do give them a taste of their own medicine they're just going to keep doing the same things again because it makes them feel powerful. But if you want to make them mad, you just have to do the same things they do to you because they can dish it out, but they can't take it. They can easily criticize or insult you, but they don't like it when you criticize or insult them because whatever they're dishing out is typically what they're vulnerable to. They already know how much it would hurt them if they were on the other end of it. And that's how they know what to do to you. But while you may have been strong enough to endure and overcome what they did to you, if you were to do the same thing to them, they might lose their minds because they're not strong enough. They're very weak and ineffective. They're unable to effectively deal with situations and with life. Which is why if you match their energy, they will feel victimized. They will lose their mind. Even though you're doing the same thing they did to you. And you manage to get through it. But they are very weak people. They're like histrionics, so they will be overreactive. They will blow it out of proportion. They will make a mountain out of a molehill. They will exaggerate the importance of what you did while minimizing what they did. Even though you did the same thing as them, they will find a way to make it seem unequal. But if you want to take revenge on a narcissist, this is all you have to do. Just match their energy. But be aware that they may retaliate because they can't handle it. They're unable to endure unpleasant, critical, harsh or abusive treatment. They're not built for it. They're very weak and fragile, which is why they prefer to be on the other end of it. Because they have to beat you to the punch. They have to get you before you get them. Because otherwise, you might just destroy them. But when they scoped you out as their target, 
they conducted an in-depth study on you to see if you are the type of person to hit back. And they learned that you do not have that ability, which is why they're habitually bullying and intimidating you because they believe they can get away with it. Which is why, even if you do match their energy, they won't back down. And instead they will lose their minds because they don't believe that you have the ability to hit back. Which is why if you ever do give them a taste of their own medicine, they won't know how to react. They will be in a state of shock because they may have been hurting you for years and then one day you do the same thing back to them and they overreact, they can't take it but they, then they, they will turn it into a battle where now they have to get you back for you retaliating to them even if they did it a hundred times and you only did it once because that one time you did it may have affected them more than the 100 times they did it to you which is why they will lose their minds and it may even become a game because sometimes you just get tired of the disrespect the emotional roller coaster as you do give them a taste of their own medicine which is the last thing they want because they do not want to be treated how they treat you they do not want to be lied to or cheated on You can't even tell them anything about themselves without them getting mad because they can't deal with the criticism. They think they've got it all figured out. They think they know everything, which is why they always have to tell you what to think or what to do. But if you tell them anything, they get mad because they're very insecure. Which is why before they even got involved with you, they were already plotted to steal, kill and destroy you. Because they don't like it when the shoe is on the other foot. And you have the opportunity to offend and upset them. They kept a code of silence when they hurt you. But if you do even a fraction of what they did to you, they will run and tell everyone. Without mentioning that you're just giving them a taste of their own medicine. They will label you as a liar or cheater and they will tell everyone that you destroyed the relationship because they cannot handle a taste of their own medicine. They constantly hide things from you but they wouldn't know how to cope if you started hiding things from them. That's why they do those things to you because they're not capable of dealing with a fair and equal situation. It makes them feel inferior and inadequate, which is why they always have to gain an advantage over you. But if you flip the script on them, they will play the victim. They will label you as the abuser. And they will accuse you of things you're not even doing. But they will blow up if you accuse them of things that they are doing. They will question you on everything, but they will like it if you question them. While they make you do things that you don't want to do, they make you feel bad about yourself, they say things to hurt you, they focus on your insecurities, and then other times they fake love and affection, they breadcrumb you just to keep you hanging on to the relationship. But if you were to do that to them, it would cause a narcissistic injury. They would be dying because they can't handle anything that they do to you. If you did the same thing back to them, they would run and tell everyone that you're a narcissist. They would say that you're crazy. They would say you need help because you're doing the same things they did to you, which is not what they expect you to do because they specifically targeted you for a reason. They knew you were a given person and they thought that you would never defend yourself they thought you would tolerate the abuse for the rest of your life. But when you finally get fed up and you fight back at them, they will typically discard you and smear your name. They will talk about your actions, but they will never discuss the abuse. They will never discuss what they've been doing to you for years. If you really want to give the narcissist 
a taste of their own medicine, the best thing to do is to walk away. Because remember all of the times that they needed you. All of those times they needed a shoulder to cry on, someone to walk all over, just so they could get their narcissistic supply. Which is why you should refuse to help them, just as they refuse to help you. Give them a taste of what they gave to you. Because they thought you were going to stick around. And all they really want is for you to care. While they never cared about you. They never cared about your tears. They never cared that you were hurting. And the more you gave and tried to make things better, the worse they got. Because they just didn't care which is why you should no longer care about them because you should know that you deserve better and by seeing you move on it will make them sick because they couldn't put out your light and they can't believe that you're still strong enough to keep moving in life after everything they did to you thank you for watching if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Share your thoughts in the comment section. Hit the subscribe button to receive the notifications. If you would like to support the channel, you can donate at paypal.me slash narcsurvivor. You can book a one-on-one -on -one with me on my website. It's narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.